Hi guys, uh, in my long absence from YouTube, I've decided to make a video with another human being in it, finally. So now here are two people in Broken Harbor videos, which is a rarity that's never happened before. And this person is very special, this is my boyfriend. And yeah, so we'll just talk a little bit about how we met and why he's special to me, and why he's special to this channel, because there is a reason for it. Uh, so we met in high school, actually. But at that time, both of us weren't out of the closet. Mm -hmm. He came out as bi probably what a year ago, uh, a year and a half ago, a year and a half ago, which is a little a little um, earlier than when I did, which was uh, almost a year ago today. Uh, no, about about a year ago. Yeah. Um, he is bi. I am gay, and uh, so we had no idea uh, about each other. I had a crush on him in high school, but I, th I assumed he had been straight. Mm -hmm. And we actually, uh, I contacted him through OkCupid, okay and I saw his picture, and I said, that looks like, you know, the guy I knew in high school. Yeah. So, um, so we have to thank OkCupid okay for that, even though the first couple of dates we went on weren't really official dates. They were more like meetups to catch up on, on uh, how our lives were going. How our lives were going, lost time. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, it was a couple of months ago in September that uh, he, in, we were texting and things were going well and there was a lot of chemistry between us, I think, and he said something very nice to me. He said that he's been on some dates and um, he found all of them boring because they weren't like me, which I found one of the sweetest things anybody's ever said to me. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm normally a little closed off from my emotions, so I hadn't really proceeded before. Um, so he took the big step and, uh, you know, opened up to me, and I'm very glad he did. Yes. Um, so uh, we've been going at it uh, since September, and uh, it's been amazing. Yeah. And one of the reasons I think we have a lot of chemistry is because he's also on the autism spectrum. I also have Asperger's syndrome. Yeah. And I knew he was, you said your uncle had a... Uh, My uncle also has it had it yeah and he's the one who discovered it right while i was in uh, preschool which is way earlier than than i ever had mm -hmm. uh, anticipated that you know yeah i was still figuring figuring it out so what are the some of the benefits of being of recognizing it early let's say um you get i had special education early so it was a lot easier to adapt to or yeah adapt to the school environment right. and the I understood, like, how to communicate, like, I improved my communication skills with people, my social skills, yeah. and through it, I, what helped was, uh, through it, I learned, I, I grew a uh, love for sports. That helped me socially a lot. Like, um, I grew a love for baseball and, well, hockey, hockey. <laughs> yeah. which you don't love. <laughs> which I don't love, but, but, but even when we were in high school and he was talking about sports and stuff, I recognized the passion of it. And I was like, you know what, that's really similar, <coughs> that's really similar to how I react about certain subjects. And I think we, we kind of saw something in each other. I, it wasn't fully realized yet in me. And um, neither what it, was What I. it could be. Neither but, did I. Yeah. Like I, you probably learned about yourself around the same time as I did. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, but I'm referring more to like the Asperger's thing. Yeah. Like, like for me, it took, like oh, I yeah. made this whole channel just because of it, you know? Yeah. So, that's, and that's basically it. <laughs> so this is just a quick intro mm -hmm. and uh, what's been going on in our lives. Yeah. Um, so as you guys, as you guys know, I've been um, in electrical engineering technology up in Hamilton and uh, so I'm still in that program and still loving it and... I'm currently in a master's program in, up in Kingston studying uh, epidemiology, specializing in biostatistics. So uh, that's been a passion of mine for a while. Even in sports, I apply statistics. I've done it. I, I go online on online blogs and whatnot. I, I, I love it just as much as I love watching the game. Which... I just think it's funny that, like, as you guys have probably seen my, uh, like, my gym videos and whatever, like, you guys know I hate sports, so <laughs> I would never imagine being with someone who uh, is uh, as much of a sports fan. But, you know, it really doesn't interfere with, with anything at all. No. Uh, if, if anything, I, I appreciate his passion for certain yeah. subjects. Yes. Um, and I appreciate his passion for <laughs> electricity. Yeah. <laughs> I've shown him, like, stuff in the lab, and he's like... <laughs> 
It's interesting. It is. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's uh, yeah, yeah. I gotta get you to a Jay's game at some point. You might enjoy it. I'll enjoy it. I'll enjoy it with you because yeah. you're there. Yes, but I would never go on my own accord. Let's say. True, true, you know. true, true. Plus, it's baseball. Yeah, I mean, I've been I've been when I was a kid, like yeah, uh, by like the class used to take us on like field trips to to Jay's games and stuff. Yeah, it was kind of fun, but like I'd never, I I didn't understand anything that was going on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not, you know, it's not my cup of tea, but with you, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> possibly. <Yes. laughs> I'm not going to turn into a sports lover. Yeah. However, I do know more about sports than I ever did in my entire life, thanks to you. My dad is, has been impressed with my demonstrations of uh, certain knowledge of <laughs> He learned team, who Phil team players. He learned who Phil Kessel is yes. recently. Yes. And didn't uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Whatever. Oh, whatever. Anyways, uh, we have a passion for science and and, and movies, movies and films. Films, yeah. Yes, he's a, he's a film buff. I could I'd say I I love I love films a lot. Yeah. We both watched Interstellar, we loved it. Yeah. Great yeah. great movie. Yeah. Um Yeah, we watched some other funny stuff. The Room. Oh, The Room. I introduced <laughs> you to The Room. You introduced me to The Room, but uh, Tommy Wiseau's The Ta- Room. Too Many Cooks. Too Many Cooks. <laughs> Which isn't really a film, but it, an internet but, phenomenon. And, that song, got, and your, that song got stuck in your head. Yes, it did. It did. Yeah. It, it turned into an earworm for a couple of weeks. Especially during your final and, exam. Yeah. And too Many Cooks was going in my head for finals. It was, it was pleasant and then... <laughs> an earworm. Just, yeah, exactly. And you <laughs> helped me... Like, you helped me a lot during my tough times during my semester at oh, university. God. This guy had the worst professor imaginable. It's just the structure. Well, I, like I blame, it, it I blame your course. It wasn't just the professor. It was also the uh, the structure of the course. Yeah, like, yeah. I didn't take it. it. None of the grad students took the prerequisites, which is very different from other universities. But yeah. uh, whatever. We all deal with bad teachers. Yeah. Sometimes. Eh, and I still passed. And that's exactly. Good. Next semester's on. Yes. For both of us. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is just a quick intro uh, and update of where I'm at. Um, I'm getting, I'm off a fixer now, again, for the second time. I took my last dose a couple of days ago, and I'm feeling really good. Much better than I had been before. There is some breakthrough anxiety here and there. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I'll be watching something, and, and something will set me off. Like there'll be a trigger, or if, or if I drink too much coffee, I'll get into like this kind of funk that's not... Most the most pleasant, but um, I have high hopes that I'm going to stay off the medication this time, mm-hmm. which is good. Which yeah. is good. Uh, so yeah, that's that's an update. Uh, we're going to cut this video off, and we're going to do something special. Ah! I bought for him for Christmas this thing, Bean Boozled, <laughs> which I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it before, but it's disgusting. Ah. And uh, we will we will for your enjoyment um, get uh, to taste some some. Either good jelly beans or horrible concoctions of flavors. Enjoy our misery. Yes. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys in a bit. Take care.